and Rami just please welcome. Yeah, he uh, had a very good first Rami. impression. There it is. There's a roar. So let's follow up on that first impression let's Big Rami see. made yesterday. As social media, we're rooting predominantly for Big Rami because I think he's so much better than he was, not at his last Olympia, but the last Arnold Classic in March. This is the guy that had the COVID, had to miss a competition. He got here by way of a special invitation, Rich. Dan Solomon and, and company. I know. They just invited him, even though he wasn't qualified. And now he's knocking on the door definitely, to history. He definitely belongs up there. <laughs> he looks pretty qualified to me, guys. Wow. Listen to the elevated crowd noise. If we're talking about a People's Choice Award, that's one thing. But we could be talking about the next Mr. Olympia Mr. as well. Mr. Olympia. Look at this physique. I mean, I, I'm very impressed. I'm sorry. It just, that side shot, this shot here right now kills it. Yeah, that's arguably his best, best shot. shot. Those legs, those legs. The shrink tie in. Well, yeah, he hides his weaknesses very well in the side shots. The back shots is a little bit, you know, you can kind of see a little bit the quads are overwhelming from the back compared to the, the hamstring. The lower back's not as thick, but he's got so much muscle from elbow to elbow, you can't help but <laughs> look at this. So, what do you think, Sean? Do you think he's improved from yesterday? I, again, I think all of our guys are better than yesterday. Um, he's certainly that. not lacking in the size department. That was, lat a spread from the front and back is unbeatable. Yeah, and then you see the feathers coming in on those massive quads. Massive. His legs, you know, you know, some critics say are a little too big for his physique. Well, they are. Go ahead. What were you going to say? They no, are too big. <laughs> <laughs> they are. He's like Tom Blaster, but he, but he, no question. But he, but he has improved his upper body. Yeah, th that's where I think I mean, he's going to get rewarded. He, yes. That's when, where the judges, I think, are going to reward him. When Tom in 81 improved his upper body, he came in third place. Right. They gave him a better look. I mean, he's got great symmetry. You know, when you talk about X, X factor, he's got the X factor. Small waist, wide I think this Rami doesn't run around very often, but in this case, he's got energy from... <laughs> From all of the, the fans that are cheering for this guy to become the next Mr. Olympia, we, we talked a lot yesterday about who did and didn't have defined abs. And he had good ones yesterday. It looks a lot more. Much better. Well, yeah, all I think yesterday's posing. helped him. Yeah, all that posing yesterday definitely helped him. And, and, and I was told that he normally doesn't improve on the finals. Well, he definitely looks better tonight than he did yesterday. And some of the things that were being pointed out to me online, as well as yourself and Dennis James. And that is, while his legs are still overpowering, the condition is much improved, and you can't discount that. He has to be rewarded for that. His upper body has definitely improved much more. I mean, you can criticize each one of these competitors on their weaknesses. You look at the overall package, this guy's got it.